Okay, I might actually have this figured out, Stevie. I, I know might isn't what you really want to hear from a primitive monkey who may or may not turn your brain into mashed potatoes. <laughs> but it looks like there are only three cables that actually connect to the three pillars around him. So I followed them all back, which was tricky. The ones that we need to use are white, orange, and pink. And I think the order is pink, white, orange. Bingo. Oh. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Barn Finders, that game where people will spend their entire lives hiding in a bunker, fearing the alien invasion. Meanwhile, the aliens have been here for years, shopping and doing the Macarena. <laughs> They've been about as deadly for humanity as a fart in the wind. Speaking of a drunken fart in the wind, Uncle Billy, I was gonna ask how you felt about the tractor that I found, because I know your drunken, stumbling ass has always wanted one, but we're gonna sell it, no matter what. Okay, and, and I, I'm not gonna change the walls, I'm not gonna change the posters, I'm not gonna play basketball. All of your words of wisdom have been used up at the beginning of all these episodes. <laughs> like, I feel the need to point out to you guys that Uncle Billy cheats at basketball. Like, look at this, Sebastian, one, Susan, seven, Enos, 13, Uncle Billy, 69. Giggity. Really? Does anybody think that Uncle Billy is a bit of a basketball hero? Because if he is, then I'm willing to bet this is him too. Oh, I apparently found a poster on my own property. Did not see that coming. Okay, then, well, we're not going to be putting that up because we've already got absolute hunks all over the place. <laughs> Some real keepers on the wall as it is. Who, boy, pure sex appeal. It's what sells, I'm telling you. Right now, I think we need to figure out what our next job is going to be. I think we need to send off that comic book. Okay, pack and send that. We got 450 bucks for yesterday's job. But we should have another job waiting for us from Jimbo Farmer. Uh, this message is weird. Like, usually I can figure out late speak or do my hillbilly accent. I can't do both. Not 100% sure what this is saying. Help me, Bar Hub Update. He was working there somewhere, so I said, can you please find slash take his old beer helmet and send to me business like old times? All right, Jimbo, have you been smoking whatever you're growing in your backyard again? Because you really need to give that up. Where exactly is this taking us? Crash Zone? Oh, crap. Uncle Billy, I hope you wore your tidy whities with the extra thick band because we might have some probing to fend off. Usually crash site means UFOs. Yeah, I called it all right. <laughs> Looks like Bobby Gray was in some kind of intergalactic fender bender. I hope he's okay. You know, we might just be your know, casual acquaintances. He's a really good customer. I wouldn't consider us close friends yet, Will never be if he gets dissected. Need to use y'all's bathroom. Move along, citizen. Nothing to see here. Nothing like a giant flaming UFO is a tsunami coming to my shorts. I told you to wear the extra thick tidy whities. My uncle is about to become a beer shits volcano, and unless you want to be in the splash zone, I recommend getting out of my way. We are watching you, barn finders. Oh, are you now? You and about a couple hundred thousand other people. <laughs> Get in line. I, I guess we should go help Uncle Billy? Are, are you okay over here? This is an outhouse. You don't need to go in the corner. Oh, 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 shat my pants. Now I'm a kebab say it all. Hey, unlock this here bathroom just in case. Man, the bugs were quick to act on you. <laughs> All right, well, uh, it's unlocked. I don't want to get particularly close to you right now, nonetheless join you inside. What are you waiting for? I heard some weird sounds for me inside. There's nothing in here. That's the vending machine. Ignore that. Just, <laughs> it's fine. All right, there, this here thing looked itself. Oh, uh, no, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Something's blocking the door. I'm gonna die in an outhouse. Are you kidding me right now? 
Uh. What? Uncle Billy? I think I might shit my pants too. <laughs> what is happening right now? Oh, uh, what? <laughs> Am I about to become a Power Ranger? Zordon, is that you? Oh, a visitor. Welcome to Miko's Lab 467. I always knew there was something suspicious about Miko, of course. <laughs> Help me, Barn Finders. You're my only hope. Oh, Steve Gray. They keep me in the basement. Three switch. Three switch? You're not nearly as hot as Leia, and he's gone. The pleasant stay. Okay, then. Why do I feel like they were prepared for us? Not only because they left a recording specifically for me, but like they left first aid for when I inevitably get jumped by something, and a couple of cans of light beer for Uncle Billy. He only drinks light beer while working, okay? He's a bit of a functional alcoholic. Uh, yeah, I can mark that for sale. Alien first aid kit. Interesting. You got that up there, Uncle Billy? You probably don't want to touch it too much. You're a bit of a mess. Can I seriously pick this lock? This seems a little bit outside my expertise. I'm just saying, oh, okay, yeah, I guess I can. Just gotta get the right order, and there you have it. Doesn't matter how far away you come from, spaceman. I can get through any door. And pull any switch. It should work. No! No? Steve? Steve? Have we met? Are you like Bobby's cousin? Probably Bobby's uncle. So there's a wire going from that switch that runs all the way over here to this. It then connects the hologram machine, but then also a couple of things upstairs. Oh, I might be able to use the elevator to go further up. Ooh. Oh, oh, is that a little too far? Yeah, it might have been a little bit too far. Possibly. Uh, gonna say we don't want to touch that. <laughs> Might not have wanted to turn on the electricity there. What do we have behind this? Oh. Yeah, this is a little bit more my style. <laughs> Can we maybe go get my uncle? He really needs a shower right now. You could probably hang out in here. Oh, yeah, he could definitely hang out in here. Oh, it just dawned on me what's happening here. I was thinking this looks like a very human break room. They had the beer in the fridge, they had cups and plates that I sold, They've got a coffee machine that's broken, but I can still steal it and sell it. That's because this is a human wreck room. They're keeping him hostage in the basement. Miko is the secret agent. Very interesting. So I need to get him out somehow, but this is clearly not the floor that I'm supposed to be on. At least not yet. Got another switch over here, but I don't really know what exactly it does. Oh, okay. It makes a floor upstairs for me to get around. Good to know. How about in here? Uh, I should let you out, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, hi, are you, you're still gonna run away. But I'm here to save you. Why be like that? Come on, man. I swear, you find acrobatic frogs in the strangest places. <gasps> oh. All of my equipment is from them. Right? Because this is my sorting machine, my cleaning station, uh, uh, my upgrade gun. I always thought it was a little weird. <laughs> Crazy. So, what does this do? It's something. Drop something from above? Oh yeah, I got rid of a floor there. Okay, so what do we have in this? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm really missing something there. Oh, we got ourselves a key card. That's probably important. And uh, death ray body. 
Yeah, you never know when you're gonna need to build a death ray. That's, that's fair. I'm guessing I need to get through this loud door. That's probably my objective right now. Figure out how to get through there. I have a key card. Oh, and we have some moonshine. Yeah, well, really can't say no. Uh huh. Okay. What? <gasps> Did I miss something there? I was gonna say, at least they're treating their prisoners well, but they might be imprisoning each other. They're just alien on alien violence. I can somebody please explain to me what's going on here? My tiny little redneck brain can't quite comprehend. It's a 50-50 chance these are gonna be more holding cells or bathrooms, probably bathrooms. <laughs> not gonna be getting in there, how about this bathroom? Probably not occupied? Doesn't look like it. Uh, oh. Interesting. Do I want to go in there? Probably. Oh. Getting a little ominous. Oh, it's gonna bring us around to the other one. I see where there are secrets like a soiled mattress and a comic book page. Probably not interested in some poop time reading right now. I've got alien mysteries to solve. Listen, I know Uncle Billy is having a rough time out there, considering he's just standing in the pouring rain getting attacked by bugs covered in beer shits, but... At the very least, I'm finding his money down here. I, I, I keep sending stuff up. He keeps giving me the thumbs up. It's in the truck, so I'm just gonna keep on trucking, I suppose. Is that all for this floor? I think so. Didn't see a need for a red key anywhere. How about we head up one more? Yeah, you see, I don't know if I trust the electricity. How would I get rid of that? Can I sneak through here? This might not be too electric. Close enough counts for horseshoes and hand grenades, but not high voltage. <laughs> Good to know. Like, I did need to turn the power on, right? Because then we would have that switch enabled, but I need to find a way to turn the rest of the power off, and I don't know how. Maybe I need to use this ladder? I feel like I'm not particularly good with ladders. Okay. Let's see what we can do up here. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. Ah. Yeah, there we go. Genius. <laughs> now, that should stop the humming and uh, close up the floor. Okay. Let's... Uh, step forward. This looks like the kind of thing I can take. Smart boozer. Smart boozer? I think it's a TV. <laughs> Listen, I already have enough boozers in the family. All that screwing around trying to release Steve and I only managed to release golden toilet paper. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I'll take it. I'm just kind of confused to say the least. Yoink. This isn't like a trap, is it? <laughs> Definitely feels like I entered some kind of ion cannon. Oh, here we go. I can climb up here, and then there might be more stuff. I've been breaking a whole lot of stuff and taking a whole lot of stuff, but I haven't been showing it all to you guys because it's, it's just stuff. You know, it's not particularly interesting. Hey, look, it's another saw. It's like our 15th saw. Are you a violent offender? No. People didn't like you at school? No. Having anger management issues. While playing this game. You might be the perfect candidate for Miko PMC services. Oh. Apply now to join our mercenary troops. No psychological exam necessary. Does it come with benefits? You no know, health and dental? I'll take that as a no. <laughs> no, I think I'm good, to be perfectly honest. I'm just gonna pop my red key card in here and see if we can do some more switching. How about that? Only one more. I can feel myself slowly. I'm sure that's quite the sight to behold, but I'm gonna have to ask all aliens not to feel themselves on my YouTube channel. Thank you. So you must be Steve. Bobby hasn't said anything about you, but you're the spitting image of him. And you're wearing the helmet that I need. 
Okay, well then, that's all the more incentive to get you out of there first. I'm gonna grab a wall skin. <laughs> don't mind me, just delaying your rescue. Also, don't really wanna get a shave and a haircut right now. What is with this? Oh, oh, I can take that. That has to be worth quite a bit of money. <laughs> Real fancy chair. And a uh, whole bunch of switches. Okay. Suppose you have any idea. Oh, oh, here we go. Use three switches in correct order. Which ones? <laughs> Check cables to find out correct order. Cables. Okay. Uh, we got pink. And then... Oh, what? <gasps> There's a lot more than three cables lighting up there, Stevie. Uh, maybe these things have something to say? In Miko, we believe in human resources as key to success. That's why you should try our Miko Pharmaceuticals Constipators, so that your employees won't waste their precious work time on unimportant stuff like the toilet. Miko should help. Yeah, could have used those constipators pre-Uncle Crapping himself, but, uh, I really hope that button didn't just start downloading your brain. That being said, I'm gonna press another button. Did you know that Miko is the global leader in providing household appliances with only minimal death rate associated with their use? Don't wait up and contact your local Miko representative to get that almost safe cooking stove or dishwasher. Miko should work. Boy, oh boy, do I love it when my dishwashers are almost safe. Uh, really sorry about that. We might wanna hurry this along. I don't want to screw this up and fry his brain, but I'm not seeing any kind of correct order here. Maybe if I get all this crap out of the way. Okay, I might actually have this figured out, Stevie. I, I know might isn't what you really want to hear from a primitive monkey who may or may not turn your brain into mashed potatoes. <laughs> but it looks like there are only three cables that actually connect to the three pillars around him. So I followed them all back, which was tricky. The ones that we need to use are white, orange, and pink. And I think the order is pink, white, orange. Bingo. Oh, yes! Mind fusion data error. Yeah, thanks for saving me. Please open your mind. No, no. Stay out of all of me. I don't want to open anything, especially butt cheeks. Once there was a greatest party in the universe. And I wasn't invited, how cool. But thieves stole our delicious moonshine. Yeah, I'm sure nobody drank this. Now we are very, very sad. Where are you now? Oh, that was Bobby! Always wearing that suit, huh? Go to the moon base and get us some moonshine. Wait, what? Help us, Barn Finders. Only you can save the party. Are you sure about that? Uh, hold on a second. Are you just gone? I can buy into the idea that they were partying because every time I see them, they're just boogieing down. And it makes sense that they were drinking moonshine because, you know, I've been drinking moonshine, but what did they say about going to the moon to get more moonshine? I don't think I'm quite ready for space travel, especially considering I dropped the brain drain helmet while I send it off to old Uncle Billy. I really don't want him being my second in charge of a shuttle. He can't even keep his bowels inside of him. What do we have here? Uh, that all looks very fancy. But nothing of importance. I guess I got this all figured out. Still a couple items lying around. Might as well see if we can find them. This had better be the world's most advanced iPad. I spent the better part of half an hour looking for it. I'm gonna sell it for like 20 bucks to some soccer mom for a kid to watch YouTube. <laughs> Either way, we've got it all. We've found everything in the crash site. Now let's go see if Uncle Billy has managed to clean himself up. You can only stand in the rain for so long until your pants wash themselves, right? I would imagine. How do I even leave this place now that I think? Oh, here we go. Just hit the outside button. Oh boy. Oh. We went up into the mountain. I thought we went underground. I was too busy freaking out trying to figure out what was happening. 
Uncle Billy, you would not believe or even understand a lot of what just happened to me. <laughs> you just continue yelling off into the distance. I'm gonna go see if our friend has anything interesting to say. Yeah, are you still watching me? Still watching me. Clearly not close enough. This is why you don't wear sunglasses at night, because let's just say I hope you brought the extra thick belt. There's a probing coming your way. Steve may forgive, but he definitely won't forget. Let's just get out of here. <laughs> Take our money and be gone. There's no way that's the end, though. So it's going to get crazier than this? You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Barn Finders, guys. And the big news, we now know our objective in life. It's not just to steal stuff and sell it and then buy stuff and sell it and rinse and repeat and get rich. It's to save the best intergalactic party ever, which sounds pretty sweet. I don't know how we're gonna do that, but if you guys wanna find out, as always, be sure to like this video, let me know, and I'll return to save Stevie and Bobby and whatever other aliens are out there. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.